Hey everyone, joined by John Ackland, uh, well-known, renowned rugby league coach in the Auckland domestic scene here. He was assistant coach of the Warriors for a, a period there and, and uh, renowned as one of the best talent identifiers in the country. John, I appreciate your time, mate. The, the big news is you're going to be coaching and working with the Papakura Sea Eagles in the 2022 season. Uh, congratulations. I know there's a lot of people down this way that are, are pretty excited about that. Just just tell us why Papakura. What, what about this challenge uh, excites you? Uh, well, to be honest, the um, uh, like the club approached me, and I I uh, sat down and talked with them a few times, and they you know they clearly wanted the club to you know become the dominant you know rugby league presence in the deep south, and they seemed a well organised group of people, and um, you know rugby league as a game it needs a presence in that like in that area it's growing significantly and. Uh, Papakura look to be the best placed place to do that. So, you know, if I can help that journey, then I'm, you know, I'm quite happy to be part of it. Yeah, they're, they're certainly very excited to, to have you on board. How much do you sort of know about um, the, the lay of the land there? I mean, um, it's been a little while since you, you, you coached at, at this level. Is uh, are you familiar with many of the players? Have you sort of been able to keep tabs on on the um, on the competition much? Uh, well, I. I've like I've been around the league game a long time, and I know a couple of the people that are, you know, that are entrenched around the club there. You know, um, you know Wally Moranga and Billy McEntee and you know Kevin Mitchell. And they're all terrific people. You know, they've got rugby league in their veins, and uh, and I've actually spent the last week, you know, lying on the bed and watching the boys play a bit. And um, you know, I think we can do something, mate. they you know, they've got some talent. Uh, you know, just a little bit of tweaking. I think that Jody Henry did a, you know, did a great job under difficult circumstances last year, and hopefully he's going to be able to, you know, to hang around and help us again. And um, yeah, you know, I just think that um, I think they've got good halves. They've got a good fullback and a, a, like a very good hooker. And you know, I think we can do something and improve them. Man, I, I know talking to the club, they're very keen to become, as you say, sort of you know the the flagship club down in the in the deep south and, and wider the wider community not just Papakura but uh, sort of into the Franklin region as well which as you say there's so much population growth there and Jody's connections to uh, that sort of Pukekohe region as well how, how you know big a part of the the overall plan is, is sort of trying to extend Papakura into that into the you know sort of the wider south yeah well I think um, like the region's just you know it's going gangbusters down there every time you go past on the motorway there's you know, there's more housing going in, so I don't see why. Uh, and it's rugby league heartland, Dale. You know, like there's rugby league players everywhere. I think the club should, you know, really and truly, it should be strong. But I think it needs to be strong in a, a like a substa- um, sorry, like a sustainable basis. So, you know, we'll be, you know, we'll be concentrating on a lot of local boys and trying to put in structures there that, you know, that coaches can follow around the club and. You know, and try and build the club, not just the team thing. You know, but the whole, uh, the whole club. I mean, when you look at ambitions for twenty two, presumably um, to to get back into the um, Fox Memorial Championship qualifiers, get get through that to that top four, so that you're you're trying to earn your spot back in in the Premiership for the following season. Is that the the main goal for you and, and your team? You think? Yeah, well, the goal is to win as many games as we can, right? <laughs> so. Um... You know, so if we win a few games, then we've got a chance of doing all those things. And I think, uh, yeah, you know, I think it's a step-by-step process. You don't, you know, you don't kind of look look too far ahead in this game, Val. You know the story. You just, you know, you plot along and you try to get better every week. So that's what we'll be concentrating on. Okay, and as I said, it's not just the team. It's the players getting better every week. It's, you know, it's the management around the team trying to get better every week. And it's the people underneath that team, the whole you know, the whole club, is, you know, is, kind of getting on board. Sorry, is, is recruitment something that you'll look to do or do you primarily see this as a build from within, you know, take the players from that region and, and try to just add well, a little Well, you never bit say to... no to good players, right? Okay, yeah. like you can't afford to say no to good players, but I think for anything to be sustainable, it has to come from within, right? That's what, you know, that's how you, like, you create things that are, you know, viable for a long period of time. So, um, you know, we'll be trying to use as many local people 
you know, like people and players as we can. And mate, um, you know, I say this respectfully, you, you're renowned as, as one of the best, um, you know, scouts. You, you're able to identify talent better than, than just about anyone in this region. Is, is there an element of, you know, I'm sure there'll be an element of players wanting to come and, and put their best foot forward in front of you and, and showcase their skills. Do you still sort of have your, your finger in pies elsewhere in terms of taking some of these players beyond Auckland club competition stuff? Well, I don't do anything official now for anyone, but um, you know, I get rung up from time to time by people who you know who ask questions of me, and you know, I tell them the truth or what I perceive to be the truth about players. And um, yeah, you know, I'm all for players to be able to improve and to move offshore, and if they can, you know, if they can improve themselves and you know, get themselves a few bob along the way, then you know, by all means, okay. That's but that. You know, that's a step-by-step -step process too, isn't it? You know, you've got to kind of build yourself up to that. Absolutely. Well, look, mate, on behalf of uh, rugby league fans in, in this part of the city, yeah, super excited to to uh, to hear this news. Congratulations on your appointment and um, the very best of luck, mate. We'll look forward to following your progress and, and talking to you along the way. Eh? Thanks very much, Val. Okay, nice to see you again, mate.